It's 8.34. Special Prosecutor Kisi Ajabing says his office has observed a regressive and dismissive approach by the courts in handling cases involving his office. At a press conference in Accra yesterday, he said such a, an approach would lead to or has led to decisions that have created impediments in the way of his officers. He cited the dismissal of the arrest warrant against Charles Bisu, the dismissal of the application for confirmation and seizure against his Adapa, and the recent decision quashing the investigative work in the Labianca case. This is Kisia Jabin speaking. It will be gravely inimical to public policy, the fight against corruption, and the administration of justice if the court stepped into this arena to decide who should be investigated, who should be prosecuted, and who should not. That is not the function of adjudication. The danger of this startling decision is again quite obvious. A judge has in the process granted two persons immunity from investigation and in effect immunity from prosecution. This decision opens up a calamitous deluge as every person under criminal investigation will be encouraged to take out suits to injunct investigation and prosecution bodies from investigating and prosecuting them. Indeed, there is a live case involving the OSP now in which someone has taken the cue to, injunct, to seek to injunct the OSP from investigating them. The real and present danger looms largely on the consideration that by so doing, persons under investigation would end up conscripting the judiciary to clothe them with immunity from investigation and prosecution. Members of the press, I do not intend to sound as though I am predicting doom, but we are facing doom, and this is it. With this development, it will not be long a suspected murderer or armed robber would boldly walk to court with the unthinkable prayer that the court should injunct law enforcement agencies from investigating him. We are not suggesting that the OSP does not make mistakes. We are not suggesting that we are infallible and that every case brought by the OSP or against the OSP should end in a favorable outcome to the OSP, no matter how improbable the evidence. That is not what we are saying. However, it seems to us that this flagship public agency created by law to fight corruption should receive better regard and consideration by the courts, and not this developing trend of dismissiveness and regression without regard to its governing enactments, and certainly not the erection of non-existent hurdles in its work and operations. I wish I did not have to say all this, but it's best saying, and so I have said it. It is our duty as the Office of the Special Prosecutor to bear these things out. As I said, I wasn't sounding as a prophet of doom, but there is doom looming ahead of us, that very soon, a murderer will boldly walk to court to seek an, injun an injunction. Should I feel frustrated and resign? I took an oath when I was sworn in. And in my life, when I take on the reins to do something, I do it to the best of my ability. I ought to Those who do not understand tree, please forgive me. They say, I'm a young one, I'm a democrat, I'm a boy for it. Today, my music producer is not on. It's not on cue because it's a good opportunity to drop Anqua Noma by his challenge. I think he's waiting for his salary, so he's expecting my cough. Because usually, Charlie, by now he's you know. What is salary? I don't know what's wrong with him. Maybe you because the, the official one no, or the unofficial no, one. Where the budget hasn't been approved. You know, the official had never been unhappy already. No, the budget hasn't been approved from the yeah. top. <laughs> Godfrey, you are sleeping, eh? Yesterday, I, I heard the special prosecutor for over an hour live on television. A couple of yeah. things struck me. For an office that was supposed to be so important to the government, usually when the... Look, I've seen information ministry hold press conferences for less far far less important organizations like you know i'm mentioning but some of the lo lo lower uh, government agencies have their turn at these meet the presses this is the first major press conference that the osp is organizing since he took over 
I think a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah. There was no government official there, and this was held at his office. It was live on City, live on a couple of media houses as well. So it was an important press conference for him. So that's the first thing that struck me. Then, of course, his tone. Very frustrated, sometimes angry, and sometimes alone and helpless. And I'm asking, what's going on here? I don't know if you saw the same. For me, that's how I process this. That if the OSP has been put in office, big ceremony. Don't forget the first guy had issues and he resigned and this person has taken over. You would think that the government would come and say, look, this guy has been put in place and he's doing work for us and we are proud of what he's doing because of the campaign promise. But he stands there, he says all the four issues he sent to court is being dismissed and thrown out on funny reasons. He feels mm -hmm. there's an agenda within portions of the judiciary against mm -hmm. him and he said it. He spoke about how some judges in the past told him that he should speak out for truth and that the way his cases are being treated not fair. He points out to how a court can say somebody cannot be arrested mm. when a statutory body is doing his job. Mm. When somebody's account is frozen, the court comes in and overturns it. The, I mean, we don't go into the specific issues, but yes. the trend of his losses, and some of them are on very flimsy technical reasons. Yes, I, 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 have, I have had pause to mention this on the show for some time. I think I've even engaged with his guy on this, that from a layman's perspective or from the casual Ghanaian's perspective, I felt that the OSP was losing cases that, I'm not saying he shouldn't lose cases, but it sounded a bit strange for me. And it was just back to back to back to back. So it's either the OSP is very bad at his job, uh, at its job, because the OSP is not a person, it's an institution, at his job or there's something going on. Mm -hmm. Look, do we need an OSP? Yes, we need an OSP. Mm. It is, yes, it was born out of the MPP's manifesto, mm -hmm. uh, born out of the president's uh, call to separate politics from criminal investigations. As because, a former attorney general himself. Yes, because we all know exactly how difficult it is. Mm -hmm. I don't think we needed an OSP. Well, I think we needed an OSP. I think we needed mm -hmm. an OSP. Mm -hmm. Because our system had become one where it was very difficult to separate yeah. the politics from justice mm -hmm. very clearly. There were too many interests at hand. Mm -hmm. The perception uh, that the general public held was that there are certain elements of the populace, certain elements of the political hierarchy who can never be touched and will get away with everything because your basic system as a stance yeah, yeah. was not empowered to deal with them. So the police is afraid. Look, the, the president uh, himself explained it when he, he made the announcement mm -hmm. that as a former I'm coming, as a former as a former attorney general, if you if you don't decouple the Minister of Justice, if you don't decouple as a, if you don't decouple the, the two positions. The two, yes. So I'm saying that based on his own position as former AG and understanding the limitations of having a minister of justice as an AG he yeah. creates this office. Yes. And then he looks for a person he believes is incorruptible yes. and strong as Martin mm -hmm. Amidou and puts him there. Yeah. So he had conviction that this was the way to go. Yeah. Do, you, do you get my point? Yeah. So you, why is this strange to you that he's losing cases then? The point I'm making is, if you look at, these are not substantive cases. Mm -hmm. These are, I'm not a lawyer, you mm -hmm. know, so the, the lawyers will forgive me. What I would call preliminary processes that enable the OSP to carry out its investigations. Mm -hmm. As somebody who sits by the curb watching, my expectation is that there would be a certain level of support and in certain estimates, even in my belief, a certain kind of bias from the state towards getting those things done mm -hmm. until we get to the point of a substantive trial where the person can then say, well, this is my case. This is why I'm not guilty. The OSP can say, this is why you are guilty. And then we have a verdict and then we go our way. Mm -hmm. But we've had the OSP being tripped up at every step, mm. which makes it look like, it's almost like the OSP does not prepare properly before showing up in court. So that's what I'm saying that either the OSP doesn't know its job at even the very basic level to lose some of the cases that's lost in court or something is not right. And I believe that if once we set up the OSP, there are supposed to be, my expectation was, a certain kind of relationship with the judiciary mm -hmm. in making sure that 
certain things happen effectively. Yeah. Okay. In the countries that have these kinds of elements, mm. some run it through their directorate of public prosecutions, mm-hmm. which are powered to do certain things. Others run it through specialized investigative units that do not report through the standard police practices or whatnot. You, you would find it rare that they lose cases like that. You can check this. You can go to Nigeria and see. Look at the speed with which God in MFLA has been sent through that process. In Ghana, that case will not make it th- that far. Mm. Go to Nordin Hash when he was director of public prosecutions in Kenya until he became director of national security. He rarely loses cases at that level where he's looking to investigate somebody and he'll go to court and they say, okay, injunction. No, 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 no. The case will go through. And then, and when, then it the when it gets case. to the substantive case, you can deal with whatever matter. Mm-hmm. But this matter of 10-day injunction, uh, you cannot freeze an account. You cannot do this. You cannot do that. It, sitting up, it makes it look weird. Okay? And frankly, that stifled the work of the special prosecutor. Hence, his body language yesterday. He almost, at a point, he almost looked like he was in tears. And I can feel it. Second part that gives me cause for concern is even how we, the media, particularly those that are friendly towards the government, report cases when the OSP goes to court. OSP flawed in court. OSP <laughs> cries, mama, fact, after today, losing case. Today, there was a front page story that said, cry baby OSP. I mean, come on. Yes. It is not an institution that should be referred to in mm-hmm. such language. Mm-hmm. If they want us to teach the journalism, we'll teach it. Mm. There are certain institutions which cannot be categorized. You see, because we, the media, also have a role to play mm-hmm. in enhancing the work of the OSP. Mm-hmm. We are not supposed to be biased towards the OSP, but we are also not supposed to undermine the status of the OSP. Mm-hmm. So when the OSP goes to court, and then you read the headline, Cry Baby Cry OSP. Baby. <laughs> Why? Is, he a basic, is, the OS, is the institution of the OSP uh, uh, against the state because mm-hmm. that is then what you start gleaning because you see I've, I've, like I said I've seen cry baby OSP OSP crash lands in court uh, uh, OSP last in court something that kind of reportage also feeds that perception so I clearly share the frustrations of the OSP and I am clearly frustrated as well you see because has, this, has he made strides mm. not the kind of strikes we would want. I think that he has been an improvement. Kisia Jadin has been an improvement on Martin Amidu. Martin spoke a lot, uh, talked a tough game, but he didn't get a lot done. At least from my work as a journalist and what I have observed of the current OSP, mm-hmm. the office has been set up, processes are there, units are there. You could go there today and get work done if you want it done. Okay? In, ter- in, ke- in terms of actual outcomes, we haven't had what we want. Mm-hmm. Particularly also because of some of the reasons that he stated. He can't even move a leg because every time he moves, he faces a judicial barricade. So I think that what the president needs to do, or he needs to do perhaps, mm-hmm. have a chat with the chief justice. Mm. It is essential that the OSP gets along with the judiciary. Again, I am not saying favor him, but I am saying that at the, the rate at which the OSP has has been smacked around in court. It's on way. It's on way for me, Charlie. So, so why, do you, you? why do you think he's, he's so frustrated? I think I need to finish the point I was making, that I don't think we needed anything called OSP. It was so unnecessary in the first place. You see, that, that this authority of the OSP mimics the role of the ombudsman mm-hmm. in, in any structured system. Which role had been uh, given to the Shraj. Mm-hmm. I think all we needed to do was to expand the, 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 powers, of the powers of Shraj and strengthen Shraj, Shraj as an institution. You understand? Now, the downside of what is happening is that that role of the ombudsman, from its, from its the, the original understanding, mm-hmm. is like the representative of the people. Mm-hmm. But it's not looking like that with how the whole OSP thing is going. It's beginning to look like it's him against a section of the, 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 the ruling government. Do you understand? I mean, you made a point. 
for a very important press engagement of this nature, one would have expected that, expected yeah. that you see the power of the see state, the power of the yeah, state yeah. at play. Yeah. The because AGB whatever Kisei Jabin's office is doing is, is being done for on state. behalf of the state. Yeah. Now, while he's at it, what is Shrad doing? Yeah, so what I'm saying is that we didn't, in the first place, have to replicate the roles. They may have technical reasons. I do not... I, I let, let me, let me point out, though, I'm just that saying that we could have expanded yeah. the mandate of... So Shrad. let me point out something. That's so, what. so what they were... I'll, I'll let you continue. So they were saying that there's something they call a, a politically exposed persons. So while Shraj deals with human rights and administrative justice... Who created Shraj? Oh, we is, is and I'm saying that yeah. we could have expanded Shrad. You see, we, we need to understand that countries for their progress are driven by institutions. Mm -hmm. It's not replicating functions. This is what we have done. And that's why it took forever to even resource them, if that's if they have. Yeah, okay. they have gone. I'm just some, saying that some. that's why we are seeing all the things we are seeing. Look. I can tell you for a fact that a lot of the challenges he's going through, I'm sure that if you interview uh, Commissioner Short, he will tell you that we, I went through the same thing when Shira started. You understand? My departure is that, look, it is, it is actually an establishment of the law of the Republic of Ghana. The OSP's office should tell us where the judgments so far have departed from the law. Oh, he did? Oh, no, he did. no, I'm just he saying, that's, that's, you know, the emotional bit of Ankwa no Martin is just gimmick. Oh, no, 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 no. There were parts, he went, he actually went through, he went all, through the all the cases <laughs> and he you know, spoke about the judgment. The fact that you went through doesn't mean the, the, the judgment is wrong. It no. is your, that's your opinion. Yes, but he and did, I'm saying that, hold on, you, one second, if you mind. He did you see, admit, when you are talking, talking, you said you wanted no, 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 me to I'm let you finish, him but in what you are you saying, but I wasn't I making him. No, Sama. No, 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 I was we not. Can, no, we cannot allow, have a conversation allow, like allow. that. No, what, what he's trying to say is that you see, the, 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 the what, what, what you are asking us to do, finish. No, your time is not over. I'm not Your time is not over. Your time is not over. <laughs> I'm not taking your time. You continue. Your, your time, your, your, your time is not over. I think, I think the point I wanted to make was that because you made a comment that he should show us the departure, he spent a bit of time actually doing that. Doing but that. I listened. I'm not sure you two were the only people who listened. I also listened. I'm saying that the fact that you make a comment about it, it cannot be conclusive that and so the judges were wrong. That's all I'm saying. But he does and admit that's wrong. He does admit that. He did say so, it. So I can't say no, that. No, but you have not said he said that. You said no, he, he should show us. That he should show us why they are wrong. Well, but the fact that you say they are wrong, well, he, he, he didn't say they are wrong. He, he said he admits no, no, no. that there are differences of opinions in the law. Yeah. He understands yes. that. And I'm saying that in addition to that, this whipping emotional sentiment is not founded on the law. That's all I'm saying. Well, I mean, of course, that's the can way Can you see. imagine a judge giving the judgment and singing a Methodist hymn book to uh, a hymn to to, yeah, to, but, but, to 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 if like make his point stronger i'm just saying but, that but you know, let's keep it you are an establishment of the law keep it within the remits of the law you know that's what i'm saying one of the it's not looking good i i started by saying that it's not looking good you know or, i didn't say that no, you didn't one, hear one, that no, 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 it's, 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 it's i said debate. that it's not looking good first of all but i'm just saying that Go you you yourself you are there because of the law, and you work within the law, which will be interpreted yeah. by the courts. Incidentally or coincidentally, all the cases you have taken there, or most of the cases you have taken there, uh, have just uh, they bounced you. Let me put, <laughs> you know the bouncing. You can go and appeal. It's it's okay to go and appeal. I'm only saying that let's not be too emotional about it and also let's not personalize it too much it is the office let's deal with the office let's deal with the law it's not good that the case it doesn't look good that the cases are being bounced no two ways about that but let's push the law if you have to go for appeal go for appeal because you want it there for the records that i did my best in my capacity so but i think the question we should all answer here is do we want the osp to succeed so not. irrespective of the the way it was set up and whether it was the best option to use 
now it's been created by parliament. Mm -hmm. Now they have a pop they've populated with the people. They put resources in there. So now it is a legitimate um, establishment. Yes. So established by the law. Good. So which which interpretation of the law is not limited to the OSP alone? That's all I'm yes, saying. Yes. Yes. So, so my question I'm asking us to deal with now is based on the man's problem that he's saying there appears to be an institutional um, block set up against him by his interpretation of the four cases and other matters. And the fact that if taking them time to even get their resources released. So for example, one journalist was asking about whether they have their full complement of the money they need. And he says, well, he's now finished recruiting his officers. So it's now that the office is properly set, set up. up yes. All right. So we as civil society and media, obviously we want the OSP to succeed because it's part of the effort against corruption. It may not be the most efficient use of resources, as he's saying, you could have strengthened shrines because they have a strong institutional memory. You could have strengthened parliament with even an office of independent budget, but you've chosen to create an OSP, so we have it. In order not to waste resources, because you, also, you have the AG there, mm -hmm. you have shrines there, you have Yoko also there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you also have office of financial intelligence, FIC. something. The FIC, yeah. Good. What do you do as a state to make sure that this does not become cost 90. Because the way it's been set up, it's going to continue no matter which government comes. Yes. Because it's been, Parliament has really set it yes, up. Your How do we ensure that the OS, and again, we need to talk about even the office being set up from the first um, prosecutor to this person. Yes, because they, they seem to have a bigger space now. I remember when Sander went to the previous OSP office, mm -hmm. a smaller yeah, space. Smaller. There's a bigger space now. The office looks finished they have a lot of people there now so it's there's been some progress yes how do we ensure that and maybe the question comes back to everybody does the state have an obligation to support the osp in the of way he's course. talking about of in the course. no but that's, that's why but you see two things you are saying the courts have to interpret the law he is saying that sometimes to set up an institution you have to help them on their preliminary issues then when they get to the substantive case yes and so his point is that to help osp you may have to even overlook, because for example, if the guy doesn't have his full complement of officers, his court cases may not be the same way as the AG would do it. Yeah, overlook what exactly? So because, like preliminary because, mistakes. Because there are people who are, if you like, standing the trial. Mm -hmm. There are people who have interest yeah. in this. So overlook is, is means that you are not being fair to the, 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 the people who are, if you like, standing on trial. I'm only saying that yeah. whatever it is, we should go by the, the law. spirit yeah. and letter of the law. The mm -hmm. OSP, I am not happy with this. So you have your next step is to appeal and it's legitimate. Mm -hmm. you know, he, he actually has. But, but that, that's no, the truth. No, no. He has, he has appealed. It is, it, you appeal all the and cases, push it yes. so that it will be there on record. That this is how it the, the verdict came out, and we appealed for ABC reasons. But that doesn't okay. solve the problem the OSP was set up to fix, which is corruption. You see, because then ah, it becomes hold yes, on, hold on, hold on. Is it going to appeal? That no, 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 no. Get me. Because we've never seen an appeal that has overturned a high court judgment before. We've is seen. That what you just no, we've seen. No, you see, Samens, you are, the OSP you are missing the point a bit up, on this one. No, the OSP set up by the same law, mm -hmm. then when the law gives you a verdict, you say it doesn't solve the but problem. The was the problem but the OSP was, by, no, no. the OSP was not set up by a court. No, I said by, by the law. Yes, I didn't say court. The I said by the law. No, but the OSP's problem is with the people who interpret the law, which is the courts. But is that a personal problem? No, his issue is, no, you see, sometimes, which is why I've spoken, I've, which is why I gave examples. I'm saying that if you look at the operations of our OSP, I have not seen any specialized institution, investigative unit set up like this, that faces the kind of legal hurdles our OSP yeah. faces at the preliminary stages like this before. Second, it is not helped also by the nature of the reportage. Yeah. And we, 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 we've we lived in this country and worked in this country as lo journalists long enough yeah. to know when an agenda is being pushed in the media. Yeah. When I go through 13 newspapers and eight of them carry the same line, yeah. all of it pissing down the work of the OSP. It yeah. tells me, of course, there's an agenda. I yeah. cannot overlook yeah. it. And particularly, it's clear. And particularly when you look at the nature of the cases it's dealing with as well. Mm -hmm. So when we say uh, uh, corruption for uh, politically exposed Spoons. persons, it's a specialized kind of corruption. So for me, 
I think that the the the, <clears throat> the judiciary may not be able to hold a press conference like it did. Yes. Which is why he's saying we shouldn't personalize it. It's true. The judiciary cannot speak for themselves like the way, like the way we can do we a can press do. conference. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I believe that the CJ is listening, and I believe that the judiciary also know they can also review the nature of the 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 losses the relationship yes because the losses the relationship is yes, what because needs to review. because forget for example if there's a if, if for example if the police and the attorney general's office are always having clashes there's no way you can dispense justice because yeah. there's a certain level of cooperation you need between a police prosecutor and, and the, the agency department so if you you have a police and this is an example i'm giving hypothetical if there's a police administration which everything it tries to do they and the ag people disagree we are dead. The criminal justice will suffer. That doesn't mean that the AG's department should overlook yeah, every mistake the police course. make. But there is a working relationship between the police mm-hmm. and the, the attorney general's department because they have different parts to play mm-hmm. in justice delivery. Yes. So I think what should happen it should be a conversation between the two groups. I think we have a CJ who probably can talk to the OSP or they can have a conference or have a discussion. I think the AG also should be involved. Because you see, the AG, if you look at the way the OSP is appointed, the AG has a very important role to play. Because it's almost like you are hiving off the difficult parts of the The AG's AG's work to him. Not as a person, Kisiya Jabin, but for that office. office, So, if as as a journalist following this story, my logical question would be, if I'm given a chance to say, oh, Mr. AG, the OSP, which is supposed to be a partner institution, is crying foul and is complaining about some of the its losses do you have a view on the matter do you get it because if you look at even ghana's legal setup there's a relationship between the ag and the cj so you notice that when they have these bar conferences and these things the leader of the lawyers is the ag the leader of the judges is the cj Uh so if there's a a poor working relationship between the two is an issue what i need to say though is that in ghana and he makes the point about personalization. Mm. We've put strong personalities in the uh, in the, <laughs> in the office, institutions, yeah. and sometimes it's not been productive. And I'll give you a few examples. I may be wrong. So even Dome level, you see, some some of these state institutions must be built to make them leader agnostic. Yeah. So because if you have a Dome level who may mean well, but because of his overbearing approach to dealing with corruption, it may interfere in the institution's ability to be seen as neutral. Mm-hmm. That's number one. Then you have a Martin Amidu, who's also a strong personality in charge of OSP. Yeah, OSP. Again, he brings with him all the perceptions about who he is into the office. You follow me? So I think in a similar sense, Kishet Jabin too may have some of that. So whilst I agree that you need a strong personality to build an institution, the institution must be built in a way that can survive irrespective of what personality is running it. Mm -hmm. But what is happening in Ghana is that we have not created the, the, we don't have, how do I put it? We have not done it enough to build every institution, like for example, Gimpa, there has to be there for it Mm. to be what it was at the time. Now that it's not even there, people are saying that I think that's lost its sign. UPSA, you needed, um, uh, uh, what's it called? You see, so, 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 and even, you see, and it's not necessarily wrong but the question the leaders must ask themselves is, am I building this thing in a way that if I am not here, it will last? Number two, am I building this thing in a way that my personality may be getting in the way? Do you follow me? So in that chicken and egg question of personalities versus institutions, every time Obama, really strong personalities, all of this, somebody tell you, oh, America was built by strong, uh, it was strong personalities that build strong institutions that outlive them. Mm-hmm. All right? And I really think that we have to be measured in how we build this OSP thing. If we are going to build it to last, yes, we need the drive of the special prosecutor. We need his energy and his legal expertise. But we also need to put pressure on the state to support it. So he doesn't need to go to FBI. He needs to go to US embassy and things to be looking for funding. Parliament is arguing about a budget. There was less than... I don't, I, di- I don't remember. Again, I didn't listen to the full budget. And this is part one. I listened to the budget quite carefully. I, didn't, I don't remember more than one line on the OSP in this budget. Okay? And if we are committed to fighting corruption, and if we have boasted about setting up the OSP as part of our credentials for fighting corruption, it's follow the money. So what we are trying as journalists to do is that don't listen to rhetoric. For example, the government's 
mindset about development in the previous administration, 2016 to 2020, the amount of allocation they gave to the Ministry of Special Development was more than the allocation they gave to the Ministry of Agriculture. So irrespective of what you say about planting for food and jobs, if you follow the money, special initiatives is more important to the government than agric, based on follow the money. Now, if you bring that into OSP, go to the allocation, how much was given. And this, we need the minority to also get to, to take some of the blame. If we all claim we want to fight corruption and you have an office that has been, that is now being set up, how much has been given to the guy? And even if the thing is given, has it been released? Because there's, again, don't forget, budget is very complicated. You have the budget policy statement, you have the approval of estimates, and then the release. So you can have, they can say they are giving you 10,000 CDs. That's what we want to give you. You'll get 1,000. Because, do you understand? And they can even give you the 1,000 at the end of your term. So they can say, some you, you're giving you 1,000 CDs. You need it in general. They'll give it to you in June. So we, we and I'm saying we have to look at all of this in analyzing the way the OSP is being treated beyond simply the four cases and what has happened. To build a strong institution requires much more than simply some of the things that have been raised. There has to be a way in which parliament ensures that he is well resourced financially mm -hmm. and that he has the stuff that he needs mm -hmm. to set up an institution that can be strong, irrespective of whether Kisija means there or not, so that in our fight against corruption, we have more options. So my departure is, AG is there, Shraj is there, Yoko is there. If there will be quality people, now the laws could be graduating more lawyers, Abi. Mm. Now they are not failing them as much. So there will be more lawyers who won't work. <laughs> Let's put some of them into OSP, <laughs> OSP. directly. Yes. Okay? Yeah. Because a stronger OSP helps all of us yes. who mean well for the state. Mm. I agree that somebody is innocent until proven guilty. guilty. Yes. But if we all agree that corruption, particularly among Highly exposed, exposed people is a strong thing. The government must come to prove to us that they really support the OSP they set up. And that it was not just window dressing, that they put the guy there and now because he's trying to go after people that they like, then they'll frustrate him. That is not on. And parliament must make sure that in this budget debate, they, they bring to the center and for the issue of corruption and financing of the OSP as well. Whilst the judiciary, I'm sure, at the right forum can also address some of the key issues that he raises in the in the in the matter i don't know if you want to add a couple of quick points before we or read a quick couple of yes. quick comments before we move to the next issue all right francis says i agree with all what the osp said mm. and i i believe parliament did a poor job on the laws as both the osp and the main laws of the land keep competing mm -hmm. with each other it should be reviewed okay this one says i don't see the basis of the osp's lamentations is he telling Ghanaians that when it comes to osp cases the judges do not apply the laws what does he want Ghanaians to do? If he can't do the work, he no, should... No, it's not right. Ghanaians that. should listen to what he's saying and understand his complaint. Sometimes we are too dismissive. Sometimes well, we are too think, dismissive. I don't think this is a dismissive one. He's just saying that what should we do with the law? Yeah. I think it's no, but he's saying if you can't do the work, you should go. Well, I mean, that's... He, I mean, he was, that we he can't was, concentrate uh -huh, on that. Because that's he was, he was, he was asked whether he will resign. I think the key the thing is that let's strengthen the law. I will... Keep talking Let, about this law business. Let's strengthen and the, laws the institution. No, the institutions are set up by the law. If you have a weak law, we have bad institutions. What I'm saying is that whatever it is, let's strengthen the law. If the interpretation of the law is wrong, let's talk yeah, about but, but it. But the law is not weak. It's the institution that has not been set up. The OSP is a new institution being set up. That's what needs to be strengthened. Because we are not here to debate whether the law is strong or weak. The problem is that the OSP has not been properly funded. And the OSP office is not being able to work because he's not being given the resources. So that's what we should strengthen. There's no debate about whether the, the law that set him up is right or wrong. No, it's not the law that set him up. The, you see, the question that this person is asking mm -hmm. is a conflict of interpretation. That's the, that's the issue we are yeah. talking about. And I'm saying that whatever it is, for an emerging institution in a state where it is, you will encounter some of these uh, perceived conflicts. All right. It's only a matter of time with practice and experience that we will master how to deal with these things. That's the point I'm okay. making. Fair enough. More comments. Um, 0549986996. All right. Todd, uh, Todd B. Dobu mm. says, when the NDC questioned the seeming bias rule, the seemingly bias ruling by the judiciary, it was labeled. It's interesting that the OSP also feels the same way. This should be a wake-up wake call to the judiciary. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesse Sakumana says, if the OSP wants better cooperation 
with the judiciary, he should <laughs> he should take on cases of the opposition and see how pliable they will be. I guess the expectation was for him to deal with opposition elements with corrupting allegations against them. <laughs> Interesting. One. This one says perhaps the OSP shouldn't be a government appointee. There should be an independent body who would vote when an individual applies to occupy that office. Other than that, the fight against corruption with a government-appointed OSP mm. will always be like fetching water with a basket. Mm. Mm. Francis mm. Oakley. But, but mm. even on this point mm -hmm. again, the man that's occupying the, the office of the OSP, mm -hmm. from how he has conducted himself so far, does he look like somebody who is playing to the gallery? No, no, the he's, gallery. Not, he's not. He's you know, so very focused. Again, yeah. I think it's, it's important that one... The laws are, are clear. The institution is strengthened. And I'm saying that the institution at this point will face some of these challenges. Somebody must listen. My disappointment is that I don't see the face of government supporting the OSP, the OSP in these things. So it's beginning to look like it's the OSP versus yeah. the government. And, and that's yeah. clear. I mean, I may be wrong, but yeah, that's right, yeah, right. that's how I look at it. And it's not good, it's not good for this. somebody <clears throat> who's exacting the office in of the, the ombudsman. Yes, it's not the right. representation or the representative of the people. It's not right. So that's 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 the, that's a problem. Politicians can disagree today, depending on where they stand. But tomorrow, when you are in opposition, you, 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 you understand you what understand. we are saying. Yeah, mm. it's very important. Uh, all right. Um, very but, important. Okay. This one says some judges sometimes quote scriptures. <laughs> In their judgment, Justice Amonu Moni retired mm -hmm. and he did that a lot and helped to make emphasis. Mm -hmm. He's saying that Kisi quoted the lyrics of the song for emphasis. You know what's even disappointing to me? On most of the platforms I'm on, the cases they are discussing are not this OSB case. So. Yeah, there are other things. They are discussing some other case. I know what you're talking about. Charlie. No, it means you, you went to a boys' school, no, so I can no, understand. No, they are just dealing. They are dealing Charlie. with things that concern them. Yeah, you know? Charlie, they are analyzing the case. <laughs> so say, how can you appear before a judge who is a man and expect that he will agree with you on this matter? <laughs> <laughs> that, from, 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 the, the from, matter from yesterday. From two, look, they are not talking. It's not. It's, they, uh, yeah. no, we no, have, no, we no, have no, budget no, has no, not been approved. OSP needs no, money. No, 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 no. Afcon no. is coming. We are no, not no, no, well. no. Boys are Manchester dealing with, is losing. Boys are dealing with other things. <laughs> That was a yeah. seminar really It's a people. seminar because, Charlie, because, you know what? I mean? The way that thing flew within a period of two hours, it was on every platform. Yes, my as well. They, quote, they are quoting <laughs> law and things <laughs> like, how can this lady think? But you know, we have not been permitted to discuss it, so we move on. We, we, we can <laughs> Editorially, we've not been given the freedom to enter such areas, so it will remain on the platforms. <laughs> That's the disadvantage we have. <laughs> but, but, Maybe on a holiday we can go into it, but not today. <laughs> but I, I just feel, you know, in, 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 in my oh situation in the end, find a way to improve inter-institutional cooperation. Yes, yes. It is I, key. I, it is yes. important. Yes. It is, it is yes. the absolute key. So, yes. for instance, there are certain cases. You inform the AG, this is what is coming. Yeah. AG talks to CJ. CJ, yeah. this is what is coming. First round, second round, third round, this is what it's going to do. Maybe they give you some kind of input. This is how, this is the kind of process that can work. Yeah. That is how you improve. There must be trust. Yes. yes. There must be the trust. So we that should see institutions fighting turf wars yes. as well. So One of the things I've noticed in my experience with religious government, not even legally, like when you talk to government people, one of the things you see is institutions turf wars. Yes. So there's a lot of that. And sometimes they can't come out and tell you. Yeah, but you can see it. You know, way. so... It's important for leaders of institutions to relate more effectively mm -hmm. and the coordination role. Yes. You know, like this thing, they have the senior minister role. I think it's a coordinating role, which is very important. A lot of times we underestimate the importance of coordination where mm -hmm. like three or four institutions can say they, they want, like for example, who owns Ghana's climate change policy? There's a role for en uh, energy ministry. Mm -hmm. There's a role for lands ministry. There's a role for environment ministry. Now, if there's if the coordination is not done well, even agriculture, Charlie, yeah. people will do their own things. And I think some of that, based on the point it makes, we need to clarify AG, OSP, Shraj, and all these things so that we are very clear that they are singing from the same hymn sheet. Mm -hmm. All right, because as you said, it's the state that suffers. Yeah. It's 